All right, right on cue, Laney is here, and we hope that the only loud light things we see <laughs> up in the sky the next 48 hours or so are intended fireworks. Yeah, and I think we have a good chance to stay pretty dry right. over the next couple of days. It's going to be hot, it's going to be humid, and we do at least have a stray thunderstorm in our forecast, but not going to be a washout, it doesn't look like. Today, a lot of folks enjoying some time near the water, in the water, on the water. That is Belize Lake. You can see pretty busy afternoon. Now, we did have some clouds roll through. We had a couple spotty storms up toward the Virginia border, but but really, it's been a fairly dry day. Hot and humid, though, for sure. Here is your 4th of July forecast for the Triad Foothills. Afternoon temperature close to 90 degrees. It's hot, it's humid, isolated storm chances. Warm and muggy in the mountains with a high of 81. Now, with those temperatures in the low 90s, though, feels like temperatures. Heat index values are going to be anywhere between 97 and 103. So make sure you're taking breaks in the shade. You're staying hydrated. Today's heat in index got up to 90. 96 in Greensboro, 97 in Winston-Salem, and actually over 100 degrees in Lexington and Burlington. High temperatures were in the low 90s. 91 in Burlington and Lexington today, 90 in Mount Airy, and we currently are in the 80s, so it's still really warm across the area. We have seen, like I said, a few hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. We had a thunderstorm over Stokes County. That's kind of died out and moved off to the north. I do think we'll see at least a few showers move through here in the overnight. Now, they should be done by tomorrow morning. We may have some lingering clouds around. We did have one thunderstorm that was severe earlier over Henry as well as Stokes and Rockingham counties. It downed a few trees. That one with a severe thunderstorm warning. You see a watch out to our west. We've had that watch over our area drop to just within the last half hour. But as I mentioned, that little batch of precipitation is going to be moving in. And then you see our front out to the west. So that'll be the next thing that moves east. So severe weather risk will be with us again. Again, tomorrow. I don't think we're going to see a lot of storms, but the ones that we do see could become strong to severe. So we've got that slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center. So that is the threat level two out of five. Damaging wind is a concern for us and damaging large hail. So I think the most of the storms that we see will have that wind component, but some of them could add some hail, some heavy rain, and of course, with that hail comes a whole lot of lightning usually. Here's your 12 hour forecast. Remember some clouds in the morning should be pretty dry. It'll be humid and hot with a high of 92. Spotty storms pop up in the afternoon. Southwest breeze 10 to 15 miles an hour. High of 91 in the foothills tomorrow. Also some isolated storms that could impact your day because we do have the chance for them to be severe. High temperatures 83 in the mountains for tomorrow. Over the next couple of days, from the mountains on the left to the Piedmont on the right, you can plan out your 3rd and 4th of July. Any storms that pop on Monday could be severe. I think we're going to see more numerous showers and thunderstorms toward the end of the week, and that's when temperatures will come down just slightly in the upper 80s. So that Thursday, Friday, Saturday time frame does look like it'll be wet and stormy across the area. And then for the mountains, you see temperatures in the upper 70s, also with higher rain chances for the latter half of the week. So here's your seven day forecast. Notice that it stays near 70 at night. That means it's going to stay humid the entire week. In a span